Okay, inflection points. Inflection points occur whenever the concavity changes on either side of a given point. So we're going to rapid fire going through here and kind of identify concave up or concave down on, on either side of each one of these points. So on the left side of A, I would refer to this as being concave up because it looks like the bottom of a bowl. It's also concave up on the right side of A. So we could refer to A as being a minimum on this graph, but it is not an inflection point. B, however, you'll notice on the left side, we already said concave up like the bottom of a bowl. On the right hand side though, it's gonna be concave down in between B and C because that looks like the top of an umbrella. Therefore, B is gonna be one of our inflection points. To the right of C, this is also concave down, just the other half of the top of an umbrella. So because concavity didn't change, C is not an inflection point. On the right side of D, let me see, it's still the top of an umbrella, it looks like to me on that side. Water's gonna go right on past, so the concavity didn't change. So D is not an inflection point. To the right of E, let me think, that's still concave down, the top of an umbrella on that side. So concavity didn't change, E's not an inflection point. To the right of F, still top of an umbrella, that's concave down, F's not an inflection point. Between G and H, that changes to concave up, the bottom of a bowl. Therefore, G is gonna go as an inflection point because our concavity changed. And one more here to the right of H, still the bottom of a bowl, still concave up in that section of our graph. Therefore, it didn't change, H is not an inflection point. So only a B and G on this one do we get inflection points. Hope this helps out.